welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be painting a porcupine. So after you sketch out your porcupine, this is how you sketch it. You just make a big kidney bean, and then add a few ears, then if you want to, this is optional, add a bow, then add some kind of eyes, and then add this long snout, and add another snout, and, and then add those hands, and then add feet. Then, you do not want to do the back side of it. You do not want to trace it. Use something waterproof. So, I'm just going to trace the ears. You can switch colors if you like. If you don't like these, it's okay. Totally okay. So this is calling inking the drawing. If you ink it, it will be better shown. I'm doing this part of the body ink. You do not want the back of your body, the ink, to ink. Because that's not what you want. Then, get it. If you want, you can change color. There we go. Do, 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 do. And then you're gonna just have to do this. Just trace it. Then, I'm gonna let silver do it again. And then I'm done with thinking. Now you have to watercolor. Mix blue and yellow to make green and then add red if you don't have brown. Your brown doesn't have to be perfect and not too wet. Don't make your brown too wet. Like if you make it too wet, it's gonna take a very long time to dry. So, just color this whole porcupine white, this with this. So, if you forgot to trace your hands or any other body parts, you can fix that up now. So, I'm going to fix this up with this and fix this up. Just add it. And then keep coloring. As you can see, I painted the bow with acrylic paint because watercolor tends to drip more. So it would be very hard to, to paint the, the bow with watercolor. So I'm going to add the e color the ears in. Then, add a bit of black watercolor in with, don't add it too close, not too far either. Then if your watercolor isn't dark enough, just add a little bit of that and then mix it in and it gets dark. Then you want to wash your paintbrush off because you don't want it too dark. You can mix this brown over here with this black over here and then get a dark black brown. Just by getting that. And then do the back of the spine. If it's too gray, add a bit more green red to the mix. And add a little more thing. Then I'll just add a bit of green. Mix those two colors here, and then get this color. You still. Then you 
got to get this and that. Then you get this shady effect. Then if you want it more brownish, you can have some white and then get it more browny. With that, and then add a bit of white, then add another drop of black. Then you kind of get the shade effect all over again. Do this as many layers as you want. I'm only going to do a few of them. And then I'm going to add a bit more down here. Then add the little toes. Then add these toes. Then add this toe. Then add this toe. And then add a bit to the tips of the the ears and then if you want to add a bit a little detail add it I added a nose because it will shade because I wanted a nice cool effect I wanted it actually to look like kind of like a porcupine don't dab it too much, like that. Just add a little corner of it, and then dab, 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 it. Then add more of it. Then I do that. Perfect. And then you just do these. Dab it out a little bit, and then I dab it on. Then dab it on, and then pretty much done. Then, if you want to, you can recolor a few things. Like if you want a bit more of this. Then, you can, if you don't want to do it with a lot of water, get a bit of black watercolor. Mix it with some black acrylic paint. And then just get a nice black little one. And then you get a perfect mix to add a bit of quills. And then you can do that. Then quickly you have to paint it all. Then you can have a nice touch on the bottom so you can have a nice finished look if you want. Then you can add some hair to this part too if you want. Nice long haired porcupine. That bean. Hi, this is how it turned out in the end. Hope you enjoyed this video.